In a more proof of the situation in Iraq spiraling out of control, 46 Indian nurses in Tikrit have been moved out of the city. The Ministry of External Affairs refused to confirm who has shifted them, stressing that they moved of their own will to ensure their own safety. Some nurses suffered minor injuries in an incident of glass breaking, but no one has suffered any major injuries. The nurses are in touch with the Indian mission in Iraq. Indian nationals who are nurses who were in the hospital in Tikrit. Uh, my understanding is that uh, approximately a short while ago, they have moved to another location. Uh, the Ministry of External Affairs has been in regular touch with our embassy in in Baghdad and through the embassy with a variety of interlocutors on the ground. Um, our understanding is that uh, it is uh, for reasons on interest of their own safety that they have agreed to move out. Uh, all of them are safe and unharmed. Ministry of External Affairs refused to confirm if the nurses were in ISIS captivity. Zones of conflict, there is no free will. If your question is that have they moved of their free will. My answer to you is that in zones of conflict, there is no free will. Meanwhile, Kerala Chief Minister Oman Chandi met External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj seeking effective action to evacuate the nurses. Chandi expressed concern over the safety of the nurses who were in touch with him over telephone. Officials say that Sushma Swaraj maintained that the situation is not conducive for immediate evacuation and that they can only be brought back after the situation normalizes. They are came out of their hostel and uh, they left the place, left the place. Uh, we expect uh, their information in details uh, after some time. There was a, an incident when they about to leave their uh, living place. Uh, in that incident, Two, three persons suffered a minor injuries, according to our information. The MEA confirmed that 39 Indian held hostage in Mosul are unharmed but still in captivity. Approximately 1,500 Indians have registered to leave Iraq. Of these, 900 Indians have been provided tickets to fly out of the country. About 10,000 Indians work in Iraq, mostly in areas unaffected by the fighting between the ISIS insurgents and government forces. Evacuating Indians from Iraq is the first serious foreign policy challenge, with relatives in India demanding swift action. News Night Desk, DD News.